All right, hello and welcome back. It has been a long while since we've had a video on here. Sorry about that, but that's kind of how life goes sometimes, you know? Um, but today we are going to be exploring a scenario battle around the Battle of Zorndorf, one of our favorite maps on this mod, um, and put together a scenario battle. There's 12 points available. Um, and it is Prussia versus Russia up here. Now, it, because there's an even number of points, if Russia, who's the defender, holds half, they win the tie. So Prussia, Prussia's forced to attack, basically. Um, now let's see what the points are. I know Zorndorf itself back here is worth three. The Copse of Woods here is worth one. And then this crossroads is worth two, so you just have to have control of that. Um, this little farmhouse is worth one. And finally, this town building is worth three. So there's, oh, and there's, sorry, that doesn't equal 12. There's one more, I think this bridge. Yeah, the bridge is worth two. So plenty of points to go for. I'm going to go ahead and make a cut as we are just getting into the deployment phase. I think two Prussian armies can't move right away. 60 minute timer. So we'll jump back with some action. All right. We are about eight minutes in. Oops, wrong key. And spotting some Russian cav approaching. Prussians have set up in defense of Zorndorf. And are now setting up their musketeers. With, oh, and it looks like some scouts over here have discovered more Russians on the flank. So some of the rules for this game are no uh, light infantry. Oh, are they going for these guns? That's a lot of muskets that are going to fire into them. Oh, yeah. Oh, these guys are facing the wrong way. Oh, they got a volley, but only killed one. Uh, I guess they killed a couple of these guys. Oh, uh, yeah, but that didn't work. Even with only a few units firing. A frontal charge of cavalry, man. Against repair infantry. Ooh, and artillery through to shatter it. Okay, so that one's not coming back. That one's still untouched. So far, the Prussians take the advantage on the first conflict. Now the other Prussian armies are moving up. Up the hill towards Zorndorf. And, and going down this one, trying to take the bridge maybe. That's such a narrow, narrow causeway because this limits how far left you can go. That's going to be brutal. Some Russian scouts. Well, there's an initial skirmish. I'm going to give it some time. See if more action unfolds. All right. Seems Things seem to be heating up along the line. Ooh, that's a big blow to the Prussian artillery. Getting hit as it moves forward. Uh, sorry about the vacuuming noises in the background. That should stop soon. <laughs> Um, on this flank as well, another Prussian battery was hit as it advanced, and that's most likely going to withdraw off the field, but maybe not. Just trying to get his general to rally it before it departs, but I don't know. Just got to set up these guns. Oh, those are set up. Will they rally? That's the danger of fighting so close to the border. Doesn't look like they will. Oof. All right. Um, chasing off some scouts here. Ooh, taking some artillery fire. Lots of Russian artillery set up. Prepared defensive positions. Ooh. 
these guns managed to hold on, so they'll be able to fire at least. I'm surprised he hasn't set those up, but lots of cavalry and this middle Prussian player is still getting into position. And far left, kind of same thing. Three pounder. Oh man, they lost their six pounders. That's really... So Prussia now is quite outgunned. But they have the advantage in infantry. Let's see, they got another three pounder and six pounder coming up with this army. But I think most of Russia's guns are six pounders. Yeah, wow. Let's try this far flank as well. Another six pounder, yep. So, Prussia took a mix of six and three pounders. They may have been limited to nine pounds, where each Russian army could take 12. I'm not sure. But based on everybody having at least a three pounder, seems to be the case. Alright, took out something there, some infantry, grenadiers looks like, and cavalry, maybe those are old cavalry actually. Three, apparently the three pounders are doing pretty good. Ooh. They take some losses, friendly fire losses. Hey, poor guys. Oh, that's a lot of calf. Shifting. All right, let's check back in the middle. Got some quite good infantry here hidden. Prussian cavalry moving up. Look at these thick. Russian or Russian lines. Over here, the artillery duel is still going on. Three pounders versus six pounders. So far, it looks pretty even. Oh, this cav is in easy range of the artillery though. That's gotta be brutal. Oh, looks like some artillery shots broke the cav. Very nice. interesting because counter battery isn't that effective like it's hard to hit another cannon but at the same time you feel like if you can silence it then you have a huge advantage so it's it's like do you go for the counter battery oh or do you just charge your life asars in oh and they get absolutely shredded oh this is a little scout unit that's hilarious That's funny, he abandoned the guns and ran backwards. Smart play. Looks like Prussia is moving to take the trees. I'll give them four points. I would only need two more after that. Russia is moving up into the orchard, cops of trees. That's an orchard, right? Straight lines. So far, counter batteries stuff is not gone. Super one-sided yet. Oh, but here we have an infantry battle. Look at these 
nice white and red uniforms. It's kind of cool. And I have my settings turned down pretty low, so it's not going to be great looking troops, but it is what it is. Alright, first volley taken out a few. They did take quite a few casualties there, but it feels like that took artillery shells coming in as well. Let's check over here. Looks like Russia's doing a cautious advance. Another Prussian musketeer breaking. So the initial assault, not, not great so far. They got the bugged out guns. Maybe not. Yep. That's annoying. So only one of this three pounder is firing. raging here. These trees, I think, are giving the Russians the advantage. Wow, I haven't even gotten a volley off on those guys. That's about to change, though. We got some grenadiers, artillery getting set up. is a little more even 200 lost 10 lost almost 20 got some fusiliers all right moving back into place Back on the right. Ooh, we got a bit of an early engagement along the, the border here. Ooh, listen to the roar of those muskets. If you can get a chain route though, all those route almost immediately off the board, or off the, the board, it's not a board game, off the map. Alright, looks like the Moscow line infantry is withdrawing in. Russia might be forfeiting the, the forest. Are the Hussars going for another one? It didn't work last time. Yep, he's gonna abandon the guns. You're gonna run right into all that infantry. Oh man, you gotta stop the charge. Man, this is like those poor guys. Gonna get mowed down. Going for the other guns. Maybe? Oh, getting a back charge into these guys. Nice. That actually might have been worth it because you're out of range of most of that stuff. Alright. Yeah, the Russian infantry is kind of withdrawing from the forest. Meanwhile, we got a full-scale line battle going on over here. Russia's going to have lots of reserves, so as much as you can get chunk routing, that's probably important. Check back on the cavalry. They're definitely decimating this Russian infantry.
got some elites coming. That's probably an inspiring unit, which is why these guys haven't broken yet. The life hussars are now wavering. And they were pretty low on numbers to start with. But it's still a good move because it let these guys advance like point blank. Yeah, look at that. That's going to be some deadly volleys. Side charge. Buy some more hussars. Oh yeah, that's gonna get them shaken. Oh, look at that thing broke and killed a bunch of people. You know these hussars, they're not great in like short range combat so oh and we got a big line battle here look at this slugfest I have to check back over here every once in a while alright rush is withdrawing probably smart move let's follow the Prussian assault on the left man there's so many defensive lines here Isolated Grenadiers moving up on that flank. Ooh, they're going for a full charge, but they got some. Oh yeah, these aren't great units on the flank. Got to support that charge though. Maybe send some cav or something. We'll see how it works. Oh, he sent the infantry. Perfect. Russian Grenadiers charging home. Potentially sending off these lines, although there's lots of reserves moving up. Another charge here in the center took a volley point blank, but these are some elite troops. Some high likelihood of breaking. The assaults, meanwhile, we got the Russian elites there shattering. Let's see. Russia sent more infantry in. It may just turn into a charge fest here. Tsar guards moving in. These grenadiers. Nice colors. Oh. You may have charged your own troops in the back a bit, but the presence of cav definitely scares enemy units. Oh, just brutal close range volleys. This is an absolute slug of a battle. Oh, and these are some heavy cav right here. That's a danger. That might be able to break a Russian square. So, a tip if you're a new player, you definitely want to move your your troops aside because you will trample them and damage your own troops if you're going to charge through them so i think this did more damage to the prussian fusiliers than the russians russians form square across the line oh their grenadiers break i think he was able to fire into melee which is not supposed to happen but also getting fired in the back by his own infantry 
Let's do a quick check. Prussia is pushing the house. Engaged in a line fight and slowly moving up on the right through the copse of trees. But I think the heaviest fighting is going on over here. All right, so there we go. He moved aside the troops. Catching the edge of this one a little bit, but not nearly as bad. Yeah, he's plowing through that square. Well, Russia does have some Cossacks. Try and stem the tide, but this is some aggressive Russian plays. to the Russian infantry is holding on better than I expected but man he is pushing hard oh, these guys just taken fire point blank some very good infantry here they form in square or something? Yeah, form in solid square. Yeah, that infantry that got charged by the cab was uh, shattered. And now more Prussian infantry charging in. Russians counter charging. My goodness, this is brutal. I think he wanted to stop this unit firing at his cuirassiers. All right, we're seeing some Russian breaking. Sar guard still holding on though. Down here, it's looking a little light on Prussian, so they got lots of reserves still moving up. Do a quick check. Still engaged in a firefight along here. Oh, and we got a Prussian charge on this flank as well. And looks like maybe breaking through. It's hard to tell, honestly. All right, let's get back to the left flank. See how it's progressing. Russians holding on in the extreme side, but definitely starting to look weak in the center here. This cav fight is slowly swinging the way of the Prussians, but it's not easy. All right, another line infantry breaks, and another. That's good for Prussia. They got that Tsar Guard and this one. Those are elite units. They probably want to take out the drummers, though, yeah. Because those are what are holding on, keeping so many of their troops fighting till they're almost out of, out of troops. Looks like Russia's maybe pushing forward. Solid line battle here. All right, let's check the charge. Oh, what a mess. We got staff officers, we got Prussian lancers, grenadiers, trying to push through on this edge. So far having some success. I don't know what the Russian reserve situation looks like. These guys firing canister, that would be pretty devastating. Oh, Lancer's moving to take out the artillery, maybe. Uh-oh, got some Prussian breaking, also some Russian breaking. That cavalry might be able to swing around and hit from behind. Oh, but he's just sending it in full force. All right, let's check back. Oh. Cossacks kind of intercepted. 
Will it be enough? Oh, I think they're going to get to the guns. Man. Look at this. Slaughter is still going on over here. They get rid of the drummers yet? I think they... Okay, so... Russia did hold on on that side, but now... Is... Getting pushed here. I think he's trying to get... The Royal Hussars through... To attack the Cossacks there, but... Got more Russian infantry moving up. I mean, Prussian, sorry. Got life Alright. Alright. Those Cossacks broken. Line battle in the forest still. Looks like life are trying to use Cossacks as a meat shield, but they end up breaking. Back on this flank. Ooh. Some Russian units still holding on. Prussian Hussars getting some push into the line, but I think Prussia has used up its reserves on this flanking attack. So this unit's getting mauled. Yeah, I don't think there's enough supporting ma uh, morale units over on this side. Which is so dangerous with the edge right there. Back over here, let's see what it looks like. Alright, Prussia's finally got rid of those Tsar guards. Those were a big thorn in Prussia's Prussia's side. Oh, getting a lot of friendly fire here. Aye. But there is a new Russian line of defense. Looks like Russia is kind of... Surprised they're running these forward. I feel like you have time to... Just march them down the road, but... Fresh Prussians. I mean, they've had to force march, but they haven't been in combat yet. Yeah, Prussia is now having to withdraw. Oh, you gotta move these guys up to support your infantry, man. Because this staff officer unit is just getting free kills. You might be able to rally some of those. No charge. Okay. You broke. Yeah, that one rallied. As soon as this was gone, you gotta pull it back. Gotta pull it back. Ah. Oh well. Alright, line battle. Looks like we got some movement from the Prussians pushing up, but... Alright. Prussia made a bloody advance. I mean, look at that. Oops. You took the ground, but it definitely cost you. Both sides. Absolute. I mean, that's how the, the battle went. Historically. It's very much a brutal back and forth. Prussia is cobbling together a defense here. Get some cav moved over. Prussia's moving back in the center. That kind of surprises me. Looks like the Prussians are winning the gun fight. over here. Alright, they 
got militia now to soak up some bullets. Now what is this? Movement. Russia. Oh, there is some heavy Russian calf. I would be targeting that down if I was Russia, getting any reserves that way. Artillery. You need all those type of things you can get. Oh, the cavalry broke. That's a big win. Line fight still going on. I don't think this Russian counterattack is going to work, but it might. They're throwing militia against some decent to elite infantry, so. Ooh. Got a Cossack charge. Unfortunately, these infantry can form square and Cossacks are getting hit, but lots of infantry moving up. And the Russians making a push. Getting broken there, but. Looks like it's time for a Russian counterattack. Prussia, though, push in the middle, not willing to give up the initiative. It's kind of almost ignoring the militia charge and pressing elsewhere. And the forest troops are starting to break. Broke the Cossacks. Dangerous spot for Prussia is this flank. They do have Cav now as reserves. Let's check the left flank again. Yeah, I think they successfully fended off the Russian attack. I mean, there's a little bit more, but... I don't think these Cossacks will do much with retreating guys right around them. Yeah. Definitely seems like Prussia's troops are winning the gunfight over here. Man, it's so close range through that little hedge. I guess it's militia, so that makes sense why they're winning. Letting your regular lines rest up. You get artillery right on the flank, too. Alright, speaking of the flank, let's check this one. Oh, got a Russian Hussar taking out the Prussian guns. It's a big loss for Prussia. That could have held up a lot of infantry. And, oh, that's the cannon, I thought. As a Prussian infantry. All right, just about okay. They broke the hussars there, but yeah, it's it's close. It's hard to tell. Oh, just look at the slaughter on this side, though. It's just all right. I'm starting to reform and get the regular infantry in the fight. A layered defense. Oh man, there's still 25 minutes, so there's plenty of time for Prussia. They don't need to rush anything. Almost. Like, pause the attack, shift your forces, recover. I feel like you have the quality if you're Prussia, so 
but you don't have the numbers. Here's where the numbers are coming in. a Russian field marshal. Maybe getting run down. Oh, I think they're going for the artillery. Take out the six pounder guns. That should go fairly quick. Some heavy Russian lines coming in there. Oh man, that was painful. Right, so both sides are, well, I guess Prussia has one more artillery piece, but these, Russia is now gunless on the flank. I would move these like this, because this artillery piece can hit that line infantry if you move it out of the way, but. All right. I think they're, both sides are out of ammo. Let's come down to a melee. Oh, we got intense fighting on this flank. Looks like there was a push by the Russians? Or did Prussia continue to push forward? Russia is starting to look thin though. So is Prussia right here. I, I think Prussia may be able to win out on this flank. It's gotta be one of the bloodiest battles, man. Because there's some tactics you can do, but you're definitely limited by all oh, that they're losing the forest. Interesting. We got Prussian staff officers and elite Russians gone. Oh, Prussians break. The Russians are wavering. Oh, the other Prussians break. Oh, that was a close combat. So the Prussian right flank is now very thin. Center very thin. They are still pushing ahead on the left. I just don't know if Prussia has the steam for much more heavy cavalry getting through. Gotta hope these guys have artillery loaded. Oh, and that it lands. Doesn't look like it'll get there in time. Oh. Cavalry got distracted by these musketeers. Oh man. Oh, reissued the charge. If like this unit would fire though. Oh. Oh, they got one. And this one. I don't know if it'll be enough though. They're wavering, shaking steady. Dang it, they recovered. Ooh, good back charge. Heroic staff officers. Charging into the backs of the Prussians. They might die there. Yep. Both sides have thinned. I don't think Prussia's even paying attention on that flank. Oh, and it's just bloody over here. You guys might be out of ammo. 
All right, another staff officer charge. I might wipe out that unit. All right, you gotta hope if you're Prussia, you can roll up this whole line. Because it's not looking great elsewhere in the battle. I mean, you got some reserves still, but you lost the forest for sure. You don't hold anything on the right. Factor quickly collapsing, you may have to fall back and defend the city. That's three, and this is four points. And I think this was two, so that'd be six. So even if you have the forest and that that one over here, I think you lose by points. But I guess you could march all the way to the bridge in the town. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, right there. And if you hold the town, Zorndorf, that's plenty of points. I would just pause the assault, put up a thin defensive line. And defend the town. And push for the enemy town. Because, yeah, look at that. You've broken through. Send your staff officers to try and take out these artillery, or at least stall them. They finally broke through on that left flank, but man, did they pay for it. Now, getting pushed in the center and right flank. Yeah, withdraw the guns. You got 17 minutes. I don't even know if that it'll last that long with the losses here. All right, they broke some grenadiers. Come on, fire the guns. Yeah, I think they're just gonna bypass the artillery and head for the town. Play defensive here. I, I almost would just pull these guys back up to the ridge because it's pretty obvious Russia is gunning for the city. Yeah, set up your artillery right there form up around it. Oh, got some more Prussian reserves coming. Those might be the last of them. <laughs> what a bloody assault. But well done to stick with it until you get there. There's still a lot of Russian reserves. At least a decent amount. These guys hanging on valiantly. Wow, it really did become a foot race. I would take the road, man. This is a fascinating little maneuver, because look at how much ground they're giving up. They just want to hold on to the city. Set up the guns. Get your reserves over. Wow, these guys, very impressive. I almost would just hold the ridge. Or even, yeah, I don't know. I feel like you don't need to push it there. 
got one, two, three, four, five, six units. I guess five and a staff officer heading towards the town. I don't think that's going to be defended more by more than a couple troops. I don't want to leave a token defense of this, but I guess they're going for the total victory. Like they're trying to get some what a confused little battle this is fun fighting for the town with 13 minutes remaining I think that I think pressure can hold on well, if I was Russia I would send like matching numbers and then send other units like down these roads force Prussia to stretch their lines be very creative. Oh, and that canister is going to be an issue. Yeah. That's a big chunk of troops gone. Are they just pushing? Oh, did you see that canister? Oh. That's brutal. These guys are some elites, though. They don't waver. I think they're trying to target the artillery as well. Man, I don't know if I would send them up for the forest. I would just focus down the town. And here goes the charge. Good choice on what you charge. Fusiliers are not great in melee. Sending in the staff officers. Ooh. That's enough to break Russian. All right, what house did they capture? All right, they captured the town back there. Things are looking up for Prussia. Charge across the Prussian lines, man. What an interesting push. I don't know if I'd make that. Oh, that canister's just got to be devastating these troops. Yeah, it's causing major issues. Look at this little corner. Landwehr, holding on. Russian infantry desperately pushing forward. This is great. The counter charge. Prussian reinforcements are on the way, though. Oh, and they sacrificed the land bear. There are some brave troops, but they are taking serious losses. Let's check back on the Prussian push. Oh, it's not doing as bad as I thought it might. Prussians may pull that off. Now they're capturing the bridge. Yeah, things are looking good for Prussia. I thought Russia had it when they broke through this center and left, but then now things are swinging the other way. Weren't able to capture the town of Zorndorf. So yeah, I think they got to withdraw out of the range of these guns. Nine minutes and change remaining. These guys getting shot up. All right, 
right, some Prussian weakness has shown. The field marshal is entering the fray. Prussians and Prussians breaking there. Yeah, I think these guys are just going to spread out and hold the bridge. Oh, they managed to break that Grenadier Regiment. We gotta hope that'll come back, because that's a big unit. And if the Field Marshal falls here, that's, that's gonna be Russian Army melted. So it may be too late anyways. I think Prussia has managed it. one of those games like it could have gone either way. I feel like some fluke could still happen and make it go either way. No, Precious got it. Guild Marshal. Let's find him. Uh, have a fancy hat or something. That him? No. That's not. That's a staff officer. Oh, he just died. Well, it was a valiant stand. You almost. I mean, you look at the, the carnage. You almost held off the Prussian onslaught, but I think Prussia just had sent so many reserves to this side and got them in melee where they excel. It's just hard to counter. Oh, there's some untouched Russian infantry. Where's that been? That could have been used long ago. Going for the last seven minute counterattack, I guess. Russia's definitely pushing up, but I don't know. I would probably push these and leave a screen with the rest, because I might be too cautious, though. Well, I think that's going to be battle. If, if anything else happens of interest, I'll resume, but I think I'll cut to the end screen. All right, and there we have it. Oh man, whose replay do I have? I don't know. Um, but the Prussians have won the day. Um, the player I was watching, let's see, got some musketeers getting a decent amount of kills. Yeah, good mix. Um, but let's look at some numbers. So Prussia outnumbered by a little, but see, this is about 800 more than average. This is about, you know, 700. Well, yeah, roughly. Um, losses are pretty high across the board. Just quite, quite a brutal battle. Um, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this scenario battle. It's it's good to be back for one and uh, I'll try and get more of these in when I got the time. We'll be starting a campaign soon so that should lend itself to some structured videos. Um, so if you're interested in joining that hop in the discord in the description uh, and we'll be fighting those battles and it'll affect the campaign so yeah if that's something you're interested in, go ahead and join. Uh, but until next time guys have a good one. Bye.